too. Because the baby's cranky and he wants to nurse. Okay. Take 82. The update with me. Um, this is a little TMI. So if you want to skip the TMI, you can like stop the video or we'll fast forward it. Um, I'm eight weeks postpartum as of yesterday. Um, although I don't know how it works with like the date, the days. So I don't go by the days because whatever. The 23rd will make two months, but he's technically two months because it's eight weeks. I'm eight weeks postpartum and I was supposed to stop bleeding already and I didn't. So I kept telling the doctor like, hey, I'm still bleeding. What's going on? And she was basically like, nothing's going on. It's perfectly normal. This happens. Your C-section was rough. Da 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 do. What ended up happening was um, I started having really bad cramps. And with the cramps, I was just like, something's not right. So I asked for a sonogram. When they gave me the sonogram, they seen that stuff was still inside of my uterus. Um, part of the baby and part of placenta and some blood clots were still stuck inside my uterus. So they told me they were going to do a DNC. That was a Monday. When I went to go have the DNC done, it just didn't sit well with me. So I was basically like, um, I'll come back on Thursday. Because I had passed something on Saturday that looked really placenta-ish, mucousy, um, membrane-y with like veins in it and stuff. And the, that was Sunday. And then the very next day I had an appointment for the DNC and I was like, let's just wait to see like what happens. So I waited until that Thursday. When I went back on Thursday, things had looked a little better, um, which means my body was trying to get rid of whatever was still inside of me. Mm -hmm. Um... Eight weeks postpartum, I'm still passing whatever I'm passing. At this point, it's just like, what the hell ever. Some people who breastfeed spot, so that could be what it is. It's not heavy like it was before. But I was like a DNC on top of my open incision. Um, my open incision thing. finally closed, but inside, like they did the sonogram. You can see where, I'm, where the new incision is. And I just didn't feel comfortable. And one of the doctors didn't feel comfortable either. When I went in on that Thursday, she looked and she was like, listen, if your bleeding has subsided um, or it's decreased, we're not going to take the chance because we don't want to make things worse with you having so many open incisions. Not open incisions, but other incisions, you know, like the scar tissue. Excuse me. So, yeah. That was basically like my last couple of weeks because we came to you when Baby Lake was first born, and that's just been and he's what it up, is. He's picked up like a good four pounds since then. Yeah, he was born at six fourteen, lost person. a couple pounds, went down to five fourteen. Um, then he his next appointment he was six four, then he was seven three, then he was eight something. He's been at the doctor every single day because of his reflux. Every week. So yeah, right. every week. So basically where normal babies are like at every the doctor weeks. every two weeks and they get seen when they first born and then they get seen when they're two months, he's been there like every day, every week. Because, you know, I'm gonna keep an eye on my reflux. And because I'm it's paranoid, scary. half of the appointments are my fault because I'm like <laughs> Uh, he has this, he has this, I think he has this, I think he has that, yeah, I think he, he has that. He touched his ear the other day, she's like, <gasps> he might have an ear infection. I'm paranoid, I'm like, ear. I'm like one of those moms, and I went to the doctor today, and they're like, you're doing a really good job, he's perfectly fine, he's growing, everything's progressing the way that it should. So, yeah. I'm gonna try to burp him. No, Look his boobies. Oh, you bubs. Good job, baby. So basically, that's it. Um, My weight has been really stable, and it doesn't help that I, like, eat whatever I want. Um, They say that when you're breastfeeding, you get cravings, and I eat Burger King's Whopper Jr. like every other day. I try to eat it every day. You sure do. I got some more face. You just look dead. I just, like, for you know, I yawn like a Big lines yawn. My, I'm like, my, my eyes red. This is daddy's life, even though he sleeps all damn day. I don't sleep all day. Oh, yeah. He sleeps. I barely sleep. He sleeps whenever he wants. He takes naps all day. I, if I get in one nap, maybe, before you tap me, like, hey, uh, do me a favor. Go get this. 
Go get that. You're full of shit. And in the night, I get a sliver of bed. Sliver. So I have to fit all of this in this much bed. Can I tell this And to half a pillow. Couch. He can sleep on the couch because Lake sleeps on my chest, and when Lake sleeps on my you chest, on I couch? like take over the entire bed because it's very hard to try to fall asleep or get comfortable when someone's laying on your chest or suckling at your breast. It's very difficult. Try it. You want me to see one again? I don't care. Okay. He can sleep on y'all's couch too. You can leave an inbox, a post box, email. Um. Wait till the next video. Address. We'll have a we'll have a try run with this this couch sleep. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna show my bare belly because my belly is still black as ever. Um, but I will show my belly through my clothing. Yeah. He's still half asleep. Mm -hmm. We'll see yeah. how half he's not. You going on this side or the other side? Doesn't matter. I will never desert you. I will stand by you. Okay, so this is my belly from the front. This is it from the side. And then this is it from this side. And that's it pulled down. If I take this off. Or maybe move back a little. So that's my belly. Why is my chair not rolling so yeah my weight has been stable at 158 pounds um even though on the doctor's scale it said 155 but my scale at home says 158 so whatever but being that i eat like junk food chocolate chip cookies oh we went in on some chocolate chip cookies yesterday we go in on chocolate chip cookies every day and then we visited chocolate chip cookies at like two o'clock in the morning i did and then I revisited at 7 o'clock, and I just ate some now. I just finished mine. Ice and cold, like, glass of milk? I can't drink milk. Oh, that's another thing. Um, I don't know if ba Baby Lake has um, yeah, an allergy right. to milk, but I've, I'm supposed to cut out all dairy, which is humanly impossible. So I basically cut out the milkshakes and the milk, and that pretty much helped his reflux. My breasts look really crazy. Hello, double Ds, or D. <laughs> I was a negative A before, so I'll take this. They have negatives? Yeah. Like they were, your trust is imploded? It's a question. Um, as far as Danelle and I go, we've been okay, even though he looks exhausted. Because I am exhausted. He's lying. You sleep. I don't sleep. I lay there and I wake up every time you wake up. You move, I move. He cools and he goes, eh, I move. Like I wake up. That stuff wakes me up. I haven't been going through any of the um, baby blues or PTSD, thank God. Um, the baby blues was in the very beginning. Now I'm just like regular. Um, I do have days of sadness where I'm just like, just thinking about what I went through in the pregnancy, but I don't think it's like um, postpartum related. I think it just has everything to do with my PTSD that I already have. He broke it already. I know, but I was going to try to give him another one. Give him a little bit more. He's me. not out. Life with baby, like, has been really fun. Um, I really, really love it. I couldn't think of anything better. Look at that sleepy face. He's in your sleepy plan again. He looks like his dad. Sure does. Which is annoying. Let's keep it that way. As the days pass, hopefully he gets more and more features. Don't yeah. be selfish. He, he has my you. feet and he has my hands. That's it. And he prefers me over dad, so. Because she has boobies. If I had boobies, he'd prefer me more. Whatever, I'll take what I can get. I'm a lot more fun. Lot no, more he's fun. not. Dad falls asleep when I'm in the arms and everything. But, yeah, so. He falls asleep. I'm happy that yeah. the whole pregnancy situation is over. Um... I want to get back to videos and I keep promising you guys videos every single week and to be honest some days I walk through the door and I'm just like exhausted I want to go to sleep but being that the kids are off from school it will more than likely be I will more than likely be able to record videos because they're off from school so I don't have to run and pick kids up and everything else and my baby's two months. I can't believe it's been two months since I had a baby. It really flew by. And I still have these boobs. 
Like, I really love these boobs. Do you love them? Absolutely. I didn't want to get on Lake them. I, I didn't want to chime in on them. He did, he, and he doesn't even know that he's the only ball on them. Because he really <laughs> grabs them and holds them like they're his. Like, I had them first. I them for longer. You didn't like, have I just, these. I lend them to you. You didn't have these. What you had was a negative A cup. They're still mine. Big small, have, big small than I'm not. quite sure he wouldn't want a negative A. Looking like black chest, black chestedness. <laughs> anyway, Bye. so that is our my our eight week postpartum um, video. My face has been breaking out still. My nose is not swollen anymore, and life is good. Why is your face like that? Because when you're messing with his leg, you know how she hits that. Stop before you wake him up. Watch this. Look, watch this. This is why dads like you don't leave kids home with dads look, because look. they act so stupid. Well, he, he acts like he doesn't want to be touched. Like, he doesn't want to touch be him. touched. He didn't so, want to be touched in the belly. So, I touch him until it's he It's amazing to it. how the things that he was portraying in the belly is really how he is. Like, when I was pregnant and Darnell used to touch the belly or I used to touch the belly, he used to move away. Like, he did not like to be touched. And, and like, he now he's it. here. He really doesn't like to be touched. If you touch his foot, he jerks it back. You touch his arm, he's moving it away. He's just like, leave me the hell alone. Like, you stressed me out while you were pregnant with me, and now I just need time away. Do you want to say anything about what it's been like these um, past eight weeks? No, of course. It's been, overall, it's been a joy. Um, I get to hold, like, ten pounds, like, in the majority of the day. And miss out on sleep a little bit. Other than that, you don't miss out on sleep. You see this yard? I miss out on sleep. You sleep. You, you just, fall asleep you and leave me that. up with like all day. Okay. All day? That happens at If night. we watch TV, we're watching a movie together and you are, he's literally falling asleep. For some reason, she's against naps. Listen, if you don't sleep a lot during the night because of the baby, once he goes to sleep, I go to sleep. First of all, we were watching a show last night. And you literally fell asleep. What show was it? Exactly. You know why? Because she was asleep too. <laughs> you know what happened? You know what's funny too? You know what's funny too? She'll fall asleep. I'll fall asleep. She'll wake up like, why you sleep? <laughs> when she fell asleep first. It happens. I don't do that. All the, you, I look at you and she sleeps like she's really having a great time. Like with her mouth open. She's like, and I'm like, oh, she's sleep fine. She'll get some sleep. I fall asleep. She wakes up like, why are you sleeping? What, what were we watching last night? What was last night? Exactly. Doesn't even... Oh, we were watching Braxton Family Values. Exactly. And, and he that, fell asleep during Braxton Family exactly. Values. Exactly. You know why? Because I don't care about Tony Braxton. Or Tracy. Or Trina. But you know all their names. Tamar. Ridiculousness. Anyway, that's all for our video. I am missing one of them. Because it's like 17 years old. You are. Trina, Tracy, Tony, Tamar... Trina, Tracy. Which one is getting a divorce? Tawanda. Tawanda. Yeah, I want to remember that. Yeah. Trina, Tracy, Tawanda, Tamar, Tony. See how the video turned? It's about the, it's about the Braxton's now. Anyway, <laughs> that's all for our videos. This is Brittany Lissa. I'm Donnell. And Bye, Lake. beauties. Lake is cranky. I'm sorry, you guys. You guys didn't get to see more of him. He's usually really relaxed, but he's like... He's a warrior. He's a little warrior, though. He's like see battle, over. See his little battle scars, his little band aids, little boo boos. Yeah, show them. The, like, go to the playground, show them your boo boos. Girls like boo boos. Hmm? He's sleeping. I know. When because when I, mean, I stop, that's when he starts squirming. Anyway, again, it's been it's been real, you guys. Time to go try to take a nap. Let's do it. Or cook dinner. So maybe so, cook dinner and then take a nap. So nah, so, that so, sounds like so, fire so, 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 so. hazard.